Hitler and Mussolini were not left-wing politicians or ideologues. They were fascist dictators who embraced right-wing, ultra-nationalist and totalitarian ideologies. Here are some key points about why they were on the far right of the political spectrum. 1. Anti-communism, anti-socialism. Both Hitler and Mussolini were vehemently opposed to communism and socialism. They viewed Marxism as a threat and saw their ideologies as a bulwark against the spread of leftist ideologies. 2. Extreme nationalism. Fascism emphasized extreme nationalism, militarism, and racially motivated beliefs in national rebirth and supremacy. This is contrary to the internationalism and egalitarianism of left-wing ideologies. 3. Authoritarianism. Hitler and Mussolini established brutally authoritarian one-party dictatorships that concentrated power in their hands. This is incompatible with left-wing support for democracy, labor rights, and decentralized power. 4. Private property capitalism. While regulating the economy, the Nazi and fascist regimes did not abolish private property, private enterprise, or capitalism. Major corporations collaborated with their regimes. 5. Traditional values. The Nazis and Italian fascists promoted ultra-conservative values, traditional gender roles, and stamping out progressive social policies. The opposite of left-wing movements. 6. Use of anti-socialist violence. Both leaders used violence and intimidation against socialists, communists, trade unionists, and leftist political opponents. So while the Nazis adopted some limited socialist-sounding policies for popularity, their core ideological tenets of ultranationalism, authoritarianism, ethnic racial hierarchy, and anti-communism placed them firmly on the extreme right, not the left wing of the political spectrum.